Welcome to today's video, everybody. Today, I'm talking about arrows. I'm just going to cover some of the arrows I've shot in the past few years. Some of them are a little older. Um, and tell you about the one I settled on today. First off, I got the Cabela's Hunter 5570 8.4 grain inch. This arrow was trash. It never flew right out of the bow. I literally missed a deer at 15 yards when I put a broadhead on it. Uh, this was a while back. I didn't really know what I was doing with arrows. And I shot and it went like through the back of its neck. And it lived. I watched it come back to the corn like three minutes later. I literally was at the bottom of my tree stand. Shot this thing. Went up in my tree stand. It came back to the corn. Uh, I shot another one of these. And it hit it in the foot. Uh, deer lived. Uh, I think it's still alive actually. And that was three years ago. Um, thought I was getting some contact. I was getting a little contact. But overall, these are just trash arrows after that I went to the gold tip black label uh, this was a good arrow shaft I liked it a lot I shot it into a stone wall a couple times and it was still good I ended up chipping these off shooting groups and stuff and messing a bunch up but I stopped shooting gold tip because they moved manufacturing to Mexico so there it is. Um, then I went to the Easton axis into the five millimeter uh, I loved this arrow. It was a great arrow. Um, I destroyed them all. I got some sitting over there that are Robin Hooded. And then I just destroyed the other ones too, shooting them up. Not the most durable arrow I've ever shot, but did a good job. So, won't throw these. That's actually the last one I have out of a dozen. And that was just year before last. Uh, and then I got some uh, deer crossing arrows. Um... Deer Crossing Archery. This is a smaller company in Ohio. Uh, the guys over there are awesome. They hooked me up with a dozen of these for my broadhead video. If you go back and watch that, you'll see these are what I'm using exclusively. This is a super durable arrow, um, but I shot a ton of broadheads. And out of the 12, I think I have four. I have four left. But that's nothing against the arrow. If you hit another arrow with a broadhead, that's what's going to happen. Um, these are great. They're a little heavier than what, what I was looking for. Uh, these are 11, let's see, these are the 300 spine, yeah, and they are 11.6 grains per inch, I believe. I don't see it on here. So just a little bit heavier than what I was going for. Um, so there's those, good arrow, you guys can check them out. Uh, then I actually won these from Arrow Junkie. These are Arrow Tech Speed Freaks. Um, I haven't messed with them a whole lot, um, but these are a good arrow as well. These are really lightweight, these are the opposite of the deer crossing archery these are like seven point something grains per inch or something like 370 grains total so from like 640 to 370 that's a big difference so this year this is what i've settled on and this is what i'm shooting these are the serious archery apollos 300 spine We've got the day six evo up top 125 ethics archery aluminum insert stainless sleeve the shaft is the Sirius Archery Apollo. State wraps, custom wraps with bloodlines, 2.75 inch tack drivers, and nocturnal knocks. Cut at 27 inches. This is a deadly arrow. It's fast, it's quiet, it's sturdy. These are what I'm shooting now. Um, so I'll show you all the build I did on these. Hopefully, y'all enjoy these. Hopefully, I can get a deer with these this year. So, y'all check out the rest of the video.